Freedom. So what is freedom? Ta tablinya meta menulene. Meta kala wera kuwa de bagba na per de bagba tinya rute loti lose. Freedom. Okay. What is freedom? Let us read. Now you have some adu ko chapo vechi lui de la tachi kuni de dam. Jesus John chapter eight verses thirty four to thirty six. Jesus replied, very truly. I tell you, everyone who sin, who sin is a slave to sin. Now, a slave has no permanent place in the family, but a son belongs to it forever. And verse 36, if so, if the son sets you free, you will be free indeed. Amen. Tala freedom, tala ta tabline, me tala pakua de talawe. So everybody needs and everybody wants freedom, right? For example, I do the name. Uh, I have a bird, okay? I have a bird, and then I put a bird in the case, and then uh, they cannot go anywhere. They just stay right there, right? Unless I, I open the door and let, let them go. And they, they're going to stay right there forever, right? So, in the same way, we also uh, need freedom. We also need, like, um, democracy to do our own things. Is that right? Yes. Yes. Everybody need freedom, but one thing that we need to understand is we need to understand what is the freedom means to you. So, that the freedom way ne, ne kaba tuwa lo baba wo, na ne kaba tuwa lo baba, ne tuwa lo mi de baba ne ne, ne the free not lo baba, me ya, ne tuwa lo mi de baba ne ne the free not lo baba, ne tuwa lo mi ba ne ne, ne ka free lo. Amen. So, freedom, right? If you do not use your freedom in the right way, you will never be free. All right? You will never be free. So, just like the Bible said, you have to do that you do that you mean Don't you should to say or see about you see about. So if we look at the passage today that we have uh, already read, um, I just want to compare. Uh, I just want to compare to our life today, okay? So, we are in um, the most powerful country we call America, right? So we have freedom, we have democracy, and we have, we have everything we, 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 we want, okay? We have everything we want, and we, uh, we know everything we want to know, right? But one thing is, we need to understand what we want, okay? I win a name. Freedom. In God we trust. Okay? This country put their trust in God. That's why they are so powerful and they are rich and they are very popular and most powerful in the world. 
But now, if you look at things that people are using their freedom in the wrong direction, in the wrong way, that's why it costs a lot of things in this country. Right? Okay? Because we use our own freedom in the wrong direction. That's why it costs a lot of things in this country. Because when we look at when we look around our neighbor in, in this country, last two weeks, maybe last week, I saw something in the news in Chicago. It looks like war shooting everywhere in the city. You see, you have freedom to bear arm. You, you have freedom to own your own arm, gun. But if you use it in the wrong way or in, in the wrong place, There are consequences. Okay? So, my point today is like freedom. We need to know our freedom. And we need to use our freedom in the right way. Amen? Amen. If we do not use our own freedom in the right way, and then you can be destroyed. And you also will destroy other people too. And we have a lot of things like um, in social media, we see so many uh, things that, you know, will tear you down and will, will break you down and will, uh, will keep you from God. There are a lot of things in this country. So we need to be careful. What is freedom? We need to have freedom. Yes, we all need freedom. Yes. We all want freedom, yes. Right? We don't want anybody to dominate us or more pressure on us. Right? So we have we have to we want to live our life freely and be happy. But if we do not use our freedom freedom in the right way, we will never be happy. Because the Bible said if we sin Okay, if we sin, we are under the bondage of sin, and now we are what? Well, we are uh, dominated by sin, and now we are we are like we are like in jail, okay? Because sin is cover us, and then we can't see things. We can't know God. We can't see God's love. We can't see nobody. We can't see anything because of sin. Okay, so like the Bible said, if so, if the Son sets you free, you will be free indeed. What does that mean? It means like if you are with Jesus, if you go with Jesus, if you live with Jesus, if you obey Jesus, if you are connected to Jesus, you will be free. Amen. Hallelujah. So, do not stay away from Jesus. Instead, you need to stay away from sin and you will be free and free indeed. Amen? So, what is the wages of sin? Amen. So Romans chapter 6, verse 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ our Lord Jesus. Amen. So we all sin. By, uh, by action. And we all sin because of the origin of sin from 
Adam and Eve, right? So we are sinners, right? We are sinners. But one day when you receive Christ and believe in Jesus Christ and accept Him as your Lord and Savior, and you will be free indeed. And you will be no more sinner. You will never be sinner anymore. You are a new person in Christ. Amen? So, if we are still staying in sin, but one thing we need to understand is John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. But one thing we need to understand is God loves us. That's why we need to love God. Right? Our parents love us. And we need to love them back. And then we need to obey our parents. And the same, in the same way, we need to obey God. ตาเนี่ยบ่าบูเนี่ยมีตาตีมาซะนะกี่ดอตามูอุทุยเนี่ยโอ้ได้เลยกระไซชุกรีบูโหดอปะมิดโดเนี่ยกระไซชุกรี